Okay, so how are you doing today? Just want to check in. Make sure you're doing all right. I also want to leave a scripture, a couple scriptures, and have a prayer with you. Out of the book of Numbers chapter 11, verses 5 and 6. It talks about the children of Israel right after they left Egypt. They had the nerve to complain. And this is what it says. It says here, We remember the fish which we did eat in Egypt freely, the cucumbers and the melons and the leeks and the onions and the garlic. But now our soul is dried away. There is nothing at all beside this manna before our eyes. See, God has just worked a miracle for them. He brought them out of slavery. No other way, no other route. They had just come through the Red Sea. God parted the Red Sea for them. They walked through on dry land. Then the sea closed up. There is no other way to return to Egypt. I mean, they could have if they wanted to return. Go a different route, a longer path. God protected them. But one thing I want to leave with you. This came to my mind. He brought them out of slavery. And for you, I don't know what slavery is. But for me, I want to share a story with you. There was one point in my time where, yes... We had the four bedroom, four and a half bath house. Yes, spent $3,600 a month. I was the one responsible for hustling, going to make that money, making an honest day's living to pay that $3,600 per month myself. I had to go to work. Yes. Did I get to enjoy the home? Yes, I got to enjoy the home every now and then. But I was a slave to that home. I had to make sure that as an independent contractor, someone that was self-employed, I had to get up and go work the hours to make sure that house payment was paid. Basically, it was slavery. God may be taking you from a situation similar to that where you have to pay a terrible price, a high price to make sure that your family's taken care of, that the roof is not yanked from over their head. Maybe he's going to remove you. Maybe he is in the process of removing you from that form of slavery, giving you something more simple, more manageable, more affordable. So if you lose that good job like I had, you lose that good job where you're able to pay that $3,600 a month, it will be no sweat. Maybe he wants to take you from that four bedroom, four and a half bath home, two car garage, nice neighborhood. Maybe he wants to, you to simplify your life. Maybe you need a three bedroom, two bath. I don't know what your needs are for you and your family, but for a family of four, that's what we had. Yes, it was good to entertain people, have people over, lots of room, don't have to worry about parking. Nice home, very, very nice home. But I was a slave at that point in time. I had to work, yes, I had my independent, I had my own business, independent contractor, self-employed, yes, making really good money. But was it necessary to go out and have that kind of expense every month and have to say, I'm responsible every month to take time for my family, to go work, to make sure this is paid. Maybe God is telling you that he doesn't want you to be like the children of Israel, to remember the things that you had in the past. Yes, that was a nice house. People loved it. People came to visit. Oh, wow, this is a nice house. Yes, beautiful home, two stories, very nice home, lots of space for Anything we wanted to do, entertainment, minus the pool. They didn't have the pool in the backyard, but there was plenty of parking, nice neighbors, everything. But if God tells you this is not the place for you, if he tells you to simplify your life, that he has that manna for you, a simple food like manna, they had the nerve to complain. They were remembering the past, but in the past, they were slaves. Maybe God's trying to set someone free today. Maybe he's trying to take you, remove you from the things in the past, get your mind off the past when you were a slave. Don't think about the past saying, I was a slave. Don't think about that. Think about what God is doing for you today. Something new he's doing for you in the form of manna. Maybe you need that smaller home. Maybe you need that car that is paid off. Maybe you need a simple car with a lower payment. Maybe you don't need to spend whatever you're spending your money on. Maybe you just need to simplify your life. Just like God gave them every day what they needed in the form of that manna. Every day in the morning, the manna came down from heaven. All they had to do, go out and pick it, bake it, cook it, however they decided to do that. They didn't have to worry about the rotten smell, if it was meat, preparing meat and having to bag it up and take it and throw it away. They did not have to worry about that if they follow God's instruction. He said, just gather enough for you to eat today and tomorrow you will have more. Maybe God is calling you to for a more simpler, easier lifestyle. 
a stressless lifestyle, a slaveless mentality lifestyle. So you don't have to stress over making these payments, doing this, doing that. Just something to consider. I'm glad I don't have the stress of trying to pay that $3,600. That was just for the house payment alone. Not thinking about the gas and the electricity, the heat. Keep the lights on on a two-story, 3,900 square foot home. 38, 3,900 square foot home. But anyway, I was blessed, made the payment. So God is good. He can bless you. He will bless you. But just something to think about. If you are a slave, don't. If you were a slave in the past to whatever thing was holding you back from having a nice mind. Yes, my mind was clear. Yes, I love what I did back then. Yes, I helped a lot of people. Yes, it was a good time. But that is not the time where I am right now, where I have to pen, pay, spend that kind of money on a house. Maybe in the near future, I will do that again. Maybe if God opens that door for me to have that opportunity to do it again. But for now, don't remember the past. Get away from the past, the chains of the past, and move forward. Every day, God poured out the manna on them. Some of them were grateful for it. Some of them complained. It mentions previous verse that there was a mixed multitude. Some people were grateful. Some people were not. Read this whole chapter. Maybe you can take some time to read this chapter for yourself. Maybe God wants to talk to you through this chapter of Numbers 11. The experience of the children of Israel and the mixed multitude that came with them out of Egypt. Some people were complainers about the blessings God gave them, the path that he was leading them on to the promised land. Others were not. So you be blessed today. It's Sunday, April the 7th, and I hope and pray that you will be blessed by this message and that God will bless you every day with fresh manna. He will speak to your mind and deliver you from anything in the past that's holding you back keeping you from living your best life. Remember, the promised land is just before you. Jesus is about to come. He's looking for you. He wants to take you to heaven with him. He wants to take me to heaven with him, my family to heaven with him. I pray that you'll be ready. Pray that you'll let the past be the past, and that you will move forward in those chains that might be holding you down. Let it go. Let it go. Have peace in your mind, in your heart, in your soul, spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, intellectually. Father God in heaven, pray that you'll be with each and every one that watches this video. That you will give us peace of mind. Help us to not to be slaves to our past. Yes, the past is our history. But there are many painful things that may be in our past that made us slaves. Thank you for the freedoms that you give to us right now and in the future. And help us to learn the lessons from the past that we may go step, step, step forward towards your heavenly kingdom, which is soon to come. It's my prayer for each and every one that will see this video. In the name of Jesus, thank you for this lesson that you spoke to my mind. Maybe can be a blessing to someone that needs to hear this other than me. In Jesus' name, deliver us all from any slavery, anything that's holding us back from receiving your blessing of the soon to come promised land, your heavenly kingdom that's soon to come. In Jesus' name, I thank you. Amen. You all be blessed. God bless you. Stay highly favored and much love to you. From one Christian brother to a Christian brother or sister, much love to you. They say, Jesus says, they will know that you are Christians. You'll know, they will know that you are my disciples if you have love one to another. So, be blessed.